This is Denzel Perlo coming to you today from Greater Media. Better known for being the home of the 94.7 WCSX. Today we're going to take a look inside the Domensky and Doyle Morning Show to find out what it takes to be the top rated morning show in Detroit. We are going to talk to the whole team to see what makes the D&D show work like a fine oil machine. After starting their partnership together in 1993 at WKXW, in New Jersey, D&D have hit a few bumps since landing here in Detroit in 1999. Everything from a non-compete order from the FCC to station and format changes. I asked everyone on the D&D staff what they like best about being on the air in Detroit. It's creative. If you have a creative mind, media is it, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, every day we're doing something different. With what we do, it, it's different every day. You never know what to expect when you come to work, and I love it for that. It's, it's, it's fun. Every day is a new adventure. I never know what my stories are going to be. I never know what's going to happen on the radio with these guys. So, uh, yeah, I love my job. It's, uh, it's fun because, you know, every day is different. I guess I love it because it's kind of like, it's kind of a privilege to be able to be the guy who is maybe going to tell somebody first, you know, especially first thing in the morning, you know, something's going on in the news. Not that we're really a news kind of show, but uh, it's just kind of a privileged position to be the ones that can communicate some just incredible stories, amazing stories, and to be able to be the one to sit in that chair and to be able to do that. I don't know. I, I, I guess that's the thing I've liked the most about it is just when something goes down and you get to be the first one to spread the story. I'm getting to do what I always wanted to do. It's not as much fun as I thought it would be, but I don't think anything is. With over 15 years of history together, what are some of their greatest accomplishments to date? My biggest achievement in broadcasting. Um, I'm trying to think of something I achieved. We were the ones that actually spearheaded this drive to get something passed called Megan's Law, which is actually community notification of sex offenders. Everybody that hears about, you know, on the sex offenders registry. It was actually our show that kind of launched that whole thing, which nobody knows, but that's probably the thing I'm most proud of, I guess. Um, we had over 4,000 faces on a banner 100 feet long that we wound up taking to Washington, D.C. It was presented to everyone from congressmen to Governor Granholm to Ed Montgomery, who's the uh, car czar for President Obama. Um, but to pull all that together in a six to eight week period and actually have a payoff for the listeners is pretty important. Uh, between 2001 and 2004, I taught on the side a class at Davidson High School, which is east of Flint. And my students in the high school class that I taught, uh, they actually won a national, a mythical national championship in broadcasting. I had a student get a $40,000 scholarship. Uh, several of my students are already working in the business, having gone through college and gotten their first jobs in broadcasting. So that's probably the most rewarding. I guess starting at a station here in Detroit that was like 16th in person, it's 2554, and we went to number one. It has been great hanging out with the cast of the Domensky and Doyle Morning Show. I hope you have a little insight on how much it takes to put a show on air and also how fun it can be all at the same time. I'm Denzel Partlow for Specs Howard School of Broadcast Arts.